Hello, Life Path number four. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today's 2021 prediction. All right, so let's go ahead and just jump on into it. Before I do, I want to send out all my love and all my light to everyone who is watching this video, all right? So getting into your 2021 prediction, I'm going to do three different spreads. The first spread will be of career and money, okay? What do I see for the year 2021 for your career and money aspect? The second spread will be based on your love life, okay, what I see for you in love. And then the third spread will be for luck, okay, what will be the overall energy that, or what will be the area that you will be most lucky in, in the year 2021, all right? So let's go ahead and get this message started. Life path number four, career and money prediction for 2021, life path number four career prediction for the year 2021 i am using my um good tarot so just bear with me because these cards are a little bit big for me i love this all right we have the queen of earth or no other known as the queen of pentacles here very abundant energy very graceful energy that i am seeing okay and i'm also seeing that you're going to be very solid and very strong and found like very um, build up a strong foundation if you don't already have this energy already because i'm picking up that some of you are already solid when it comes to your money and your career i'm seeing more of it is going to be gifted to you and if you are like i said if you aren't already in this energy you're definitely going to be in this energy in the year 2021 all right let's move on yeah something new now, if you're not in this energy where you are already financially or career abundant within yourself, I'm seeing that a lot of you are going to start taking some type of leap of faith and you're going to trust in the universe that you already have what you need. And you're going to go after something brand new. So if you are in a job where you you really don't necessarily like us. I'm seeing that you're going to be doing something brand new. If you're already in a career endeavor that you do love, because I'm picking up two different energies here where I'm getting that half of you are really secure and solid within yourself and you're going to build on to whatever it is that you are have already been creating for those of you who don't have this energy i am sensing that you are going to take some type of new initiative and some type of new action towards your abundance you're not going to be doing the same thing you're going to create some type of security for yourself definitely okay we have the eight of wands something that's going to come in and going to be very passionate for you i am seeing that something is going to come in really fast for you and it's going to be a fast change that is going to happen for you i'm picking up that a lot of you are afraid of this change because you don't know where it's going to lead you to but i am here to tell you that it's going to lead you towards peace it's going to lead you towards abundance. It's going to lead you towards something that you are going to be able to pass down. It's like you already know your path and you're going to actually leap onto that path and get on it. Mm. Now we have the Ace of Earth. Definitely, new. I mean, when it comes to your money and your career life path number four, you're going to be abundant. You're going to be very successful. You're, if, like I said, if you are already comfortable in a work environment or a work situation that you're already in, I'm seeing that you're going to add on to that. It's like you're going to be doing what you've created for yourself or the job that you really love. You're going to be doing that, but it's going to be hype. It's like it's going to be within the same area, but it's going to be some type of new fulfillment that's going to be here as well. And then I'm also picking up the energy of people who have not taken this leap of faith yet. Whenever you do start working on this endeavor that you want to build for yourself, I am seeing that it is going to be something that, it, that you're going to be very passionate about and then you're going to reap the benefits of it. Now we have the seven of fire. I want to clarify the seven of fire because with the seven of fire, I'm feeling like this is going to be something that is going to be protected. 
You don't have to worry about anybody coming to you and taking it away. Because this is an energy that is already protected. This is an energy that's already shielded. Seven of fire. Why is the seven of fire here? All right, we have two cards that flipped. Three cards. You don't see it. It's like this new action that you're needing to take. We have the four of cups. We have the two of swords. And we have the page of wands. Now with this page of wands, this gives me this action, this inspiration, this this I finally feel, figured out that I have the power to create my own reality energy that's here. But for whatever reason, you guys can't see these opportunities that are right in front of you because you are looking at things in the physical aspect and you're needing to really use this sword. Like which sword are you going to use? It's almost the energy where you know that things have felt for you in the past. I'm getting like a lot of failed energy where you, you've attempted to create what this is that you really want to create for yourself. You, you, you've tried over and over again to do it, but now it's like, okay, the universe is giving you this opportunity to go ahead and be fulfilled. Yeah, now we have the star. This is a very good reading for your career endeavors. Whatever this is you're creating, you are going to be the start of it. You're going to be able to really not only just heal yourself, but you're going to teach others how to heal as well. Your mind, though, it's like it's like your mind, your illusions. You're going to create people to be stronger for themselves. And you are going to be this star. So whatever it is, and I am getting like an online energy that a lot of you are trying to create some type of business that's online or some type of online content. I'm seeing that you are going to be a star, but you have to continue to work towards that. To put your all, to put your passion in it and just leap. And don't worry about, you know, how many subscribers you get. Don't worry about how many orders you get because, of course, it has to start off somewhere. It has to start off with the initiative that you take towards it. And if you take the initiative of passion, of love, of peace, that's when you're going to get that passion, love, and peace back. So I am seeing that a lot of you are going to go towards things that you are passionate about and you're going to be very abundant in it. That is beautiful, Life Path 4, all right? That is absolutely beautiful. So let's move on to your love prediction, all right? Please, I mean, I'm sorry, 4 is Life Path number 4 for your year 2021. All right, Life Path number 4. Life Path number 4, prediction for love 2021. Life path number four is prediction 2021 for love. Thank you. <laughs> Look, y'all, 2021, if, if you're ever doubting your 2021 being lack of, it ain't going to be no lack. You're going to have abundance, definitely, okay, when it comes to your love. This is just letting me know that it is time for you to meet your person. If you do want to meet your person. By the seventh month, I'm seeing that you're going to invite this love in. It's going to be very happy. It's very fulfilling, very joyous. It's going to be something new. Now, um, I've done one, two, and threes. And I believe one and three had this overall energy for love, the page of cups or the page of water. Definitely new love is going to be fulfilled. And this is also that love within yourself too. But by the seventh month, I'm seeing that a lot of you are going to have this peace and this fulfillment within yourself. It's like, finally. Ooh, now we have a tower. They're going to catch you off guard too. If this is another person, I'm seeing that this person is going to catch you off guard. It's like you're going to be busy doing your own thing. And then this person is going to show up. Oh, yeah. Now we have the king of water being able to express how you feel. 
this is a very loving energy it's like a gentle giant energy here I don't know if that means anything for you all but this 2021 I'm seeing big love big fulfillment major changes major abundance but you're going to have to start expressing how you feel as well. You can't just allow this other person or this other party to express. You're going to have to express. You're going to have to unblock that heart chakra as well. Do some type of heart chakra meditation. Because you do have a lot of love to give in the year 2021. And I'm seeing that love is going, it's going to be reciprocated. The love is going to be given back to you. But you're going to have to open up to this love that you want in your life. The fulfillment. And this is fulfillment within yourself too. Again, this is not only the energy of your person but this is the energy of yourself as well let's move on yeah this person is going to catch you off guard we have the two of air here <clears throat> the two of air is just giving me a energy of you not going to even see it coming or you don't see it coming and i am being told to take back that seven month prediction for very few of you, it will be that seventh month, but I'm going to take that off the table because it's not going to be everybody in the month seven. What I'm picking up from seven is I'm picking up there's going to be a lot of changes that are going to happen for you. That you're not going to even see coming when it comes to your love life. This is actually falling in love with self as well. Yeah, these. now we have the ten of wands. Everything that you've ever felt about with love is going to be something completely different. The burdens are going to be released. I'm feeling an energy where you all have been single for a while. And I'm seeing that those burdens that comes with love is going to be released. Or you may be in separation with somebody for a while. Ten of fire. Why is the ten of fire here? Hey, sorry about that. Queen of Earth wants to fly across the room. So yes, you have the Queen of Earth that's showing up in your love reading as well. So this is something that's going to be very solid. This is something that's going to be very abundant, okay? Because you have put down these burdens when it comes to different things or different love avenues. Somebody's definitely going to catch you off guard here. Um, it's a good off guard energy. It's like you're waiting for this love to come in. It may be somebody old, but um, for a lot of you, I am picking up that it's definitely somebody new that's going to come in. It's like you're going to be busy. Like I said, you're going to be busy doing your own thing. And then that's when this person is going to come back. Okay. Or come in, should I say. All right. So let's see your luck area. It looks like you're going to be lucky in love and career as well. But I'm going to go ahead and pull out your final spread of luck, okay? All right. So you give me a message for life path number four for luck 2021. Thank you. Energy for life path number four when it comes to the area of luck. All right, I see a lot of good things happening. All right, so we have the Nine of Air and the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords gives me this energy that you guys need to start being more free. Don't be so stuck in your head where you don't see anything coming in for you. You, you feel like your life is over with. But as long as you just realize that you do have the power to really control your thoughts, Definitely going to have to start controlling your thoughts, okay, so that you can be more purposeful in life, okay, as well as your luck area. Mm -hmm. Now you have the fool again, and it falls in the same spot. A lot of you are going to take some type of leap of faith when it comes. And I'm picking up that this is job and this is career. But a lot of you are like hanging on to this really thin ledge. It's like you're stuck on this really thin ledge and the ledge is continuing to break down. And I see that you are going to, at the right moment, you're going to figure out that you have wings and you're going to fly. You're going to leap. 
and the universe is definitely going to catch you okay we got the six of fire six of wands here victories so if you are scared to take some type of leap of faith in your luck area for the year 2021 i'm seeing that you're going to be very lucky when it comes to taking different leaps of faith it doesn't ne have to necessarily be job. I am picking up for some, well, really for most of you, it is going to have something to do with a job and taking a leap of faith in that. But this is taking a leap of faith in all areas of your life. Any area that you have in your life, I'm feeling that you're going to, once you take the leaps, you're going to be successful in them. You're going to be very abundant in them, okay? Six of air, taking these leaps of faith and moving forward. You, your year 2021 is going to be completely different. Okay, completely, completely different. It's going to be a different of you being able to know who you really are and go after that. Go after what your soul's purpose is supposed to be because it's definitely going to be a year of balance for you all. Of new beginnings. Of not being afraid to journey and venture off. Mm. now we have the night of fire look y'all are going to be doing things that is going to make you very fulfilled that and you're going to go after it with passion the universe is supporting this because whatever you are creating and whatever you're going to go into passion with is going to make you very successful but you need to control your emotions don't get too stuck in your head where you don't take these leaps of faith. But then don't get too cocky to where you feel like it's all about me. Mm. Now we have judgment here being your final card for luck. Yeah, it's definitely time for you all to ascend. So I am seeing that you're going to be called to do different things. And you're going to be very successful in those things. A lot of you are going to really go towards like a spiritual transformation and you're going to figure out what your purpose is for life. Judgment. Last call here. Mm. We have the five of pentacles, but it's in the reverse. So this is the advice that you're getting. You're going to have to unstick yourself unstick yourself don't feel like you don't have the tools that you need to get to where you want to go because you definitely have all the tools you definitely have all the power you definitely have all the light to go towards whatever it is that you want you're just gonna have to believe this and you're gonna have to be in a balance within yourself and let go of the energy where you feel like you don't have enough change your mindset and change the way you think and the way you look at things Start really meditating and start really just researching a lot of things too. Six of air. Why is the six of air here? I'm just getting that this is a feeling that you guys are going to like definitely move forward and take a leap of faith in. We got the eight of wands and we have the queen of wands. So yeah, definitely you guys are moving towards something that is going to be a feeling something that's going to bring you a lot of confidence and a lot of success all right well thank you guys so much that is your 2021 prediction life path number four okay i loved absolutely love y'all's prediction okay so thank you guys again and i love you um if you like this video just make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button also to see more videos like so in the near future you can go ahead and hit that subscribe notification bell i do perform personal reading so if you are looking to book a personal reading you can click in the description box below my website link is attached and you will go to my website to book your personal appointment all right but thank you guys again so much i love and appreciate you and i hope you have a wonderful and blessed day